So we're going to have one video here before we get started into the math portion of it. And the math portion is going to be very, very simple this week. Uh, so we may not have, we may not need to do more than one, possibly two videos. But the first thing that I wanted to share with you is what your week outline is going to look like and how you use that. And so if I go into, and I just open up your assignment for, for this week. So this is the slideshow that you typically, that you saw in week one, and you're going to see one similar to this. Uh, as you can see, we're going to cover sections one, two, and three, but that's not the key thing that I wanted to point out today. Um, your list here is quite a bit longer. Just make sure that you get all of that stuff done, including the watching the videos today, which you've already started. Now, the one thing that I wanted to show you is on slide seven. It says lesson one assignment. If you click on there, it's going to take you into a link that's called Kami. And it may ask you to download this. It may ask you to join using your email. But what's really cool about this is, you know, right now, there's nothing for me to put here. But if I decide to come over here and use one of the drawing tools for a text box, maybe I want to make a text box right here. Not there, down here. Okay and put it wherever I want it, make it a little bit larger, or no, sorry, that's not going to make it a little bit larger, and then maybe the answer is five here. So I'd put a five in there, and make a text box over here. Maybe the answer is seven. Um, I assume those are not the correct answers, but um, the point is, is that you can make a text box and you can um, write right in it. The other option you have is to get rid of those text boxes. And you have the option of just coming over here and using like, uh, well, you can see these things that are, so each one of these, there's an equation thing, there's a drawing tool, so let's go ahead and do that. So, and we can pick our color. So let's say we like the color purple and we can put our answer right in here, just like that. Now, if it's one where you've got to actually type a fair amount of stuff, and notice how that stayed right where it was. And so let's see if I can find one where we're... Okay, so here's one where you have to write an equation. You might try the equation editor over here, or you might just decide to write... Um, X minus Y equals 4... And then the x's are the same as the squares, so we would have x times y, or you might use s and, and uh, t for square and triangle. The point is I'm just trying to show you a little bit about how this tool works. Tool works. Um, here you've got a place for notes. So that might be a great place for a text box. Make it about the same size as this. So make a big text box. When you see this um, thing that looks like an intersection, you, you can move that up. And then you can just simply say, I understand how to figure out unknowns given an equation. 
So you've got the ability to make a text box, and if you're going to be doing a lot of information, that might be better off than um, than um, just writing with the uh, with the drawing tool. Then you've got shapes. If you wanted to insert shapes, you've got an eraser here. If you made a mistake, mostly that's going to apply to the drawing tool. You can insert an image if you think that that's going to be helpful. Um, those types of things. Now, once you're done, and let's see, that's at the top. Um, You, I want to know if this doesn't work for you, but you should have a turn in button. I probably don't have one because I'm the teacher. Um, so you will likely want to w look for that turn in button because that's the way that it gets back to me with your changes. So let me know. Um, so I wanted to go over that real quick, and then in the next video, we'll start talking about the math that is associated with this.